impressions so I have so I've not put spice 139 in my discovery set okay I'm not sure if custom decided to spray some of my thing or if that's how much I got but the bottle is half Some it's wet, definitely spice, definitely masculine, masculine sense. EBF may get that onto blue. So, blue is not wet. Doesn't smell like it was sprayed because it actually it's actually not half like spice was. So let's do a little spray test on blue. Mm. Yeah, very clean. It smells like zest soap. So that kind of aquatic fresh Irish spring type of scent. It's a fresh guy, a freshie. Next, so. Next we have candy. Ooh, I'm excited for candy. Next we have ooh, candy. Mm -hmm. Has a kind of ma candy, sweet, marshmallowy, marshmallowy type of smell, like a light caramel, marshmallow type of smell. Again, this is wet, so I'm not sure. What customs do my thing? <sighs> but clearing this box was actually not that expensive. So clearing the box came up to like a hundred dollars. I don't know about you, but in my mind. Now we have black tie. We're back to the boy sense, male sense, male marketed sense. So this one is dry, it's almost full, and requires spray. Mm. Mm. Ooh. For some reason this reminds me of my dad, who's been dead like 13 years. This reminds me of my father. Perialis blue, that's what he used to wear. And Perialis 360 blue, I think. And this that's what this reminds me of. Black tie reminds me of that Perialis in the blue metal container. That's what this reminds me of. Black tie. Now we have Bloom. Bloom may be feminine. So, so far we have candy no bloom so it's dry didn't doesn't Ooh. this smells like I might like it hmm this is a fresh floral 
this is definitely a floral but uh, like it might have a little grapefruit or something in there mm. Mm. she's pretty there's something citrus in it or maybe it may be a citrus floral like on now Santorini let me see I can probably guess this may be a you know actually no let's not assume here I might just be surprised so this one is dry doesn't look like it got Mmm. Mmm. This is. Ooh. The word is escaping me right now. Mm. A kind of musky vanilla. A kind of Arabic y, Arabic like. A very musky type of now jet black just to remind you it's 14 of these I've gone through six already this is number seven so jet black let's see what customs did to you it's a little wet Okay. Mm. Mm. Why does this smell like smell a little old school? Like a classic dad. Like not even my father. This is a very old school type of yeah, this is a real old school male fragrance, 90s type of situation. Mm. Mm. Jet black platinum. Okay. Mm. Come out! Mm. For a moment there, I thought that there was nothing. Oh, good grief, man. Jeez. Oh, the tip stuck. So this is wet. Oh, this one is nice. This one's sexy. Hello. But you're almost done, though. This one is sexy. Yeah, this is a... Uh, Sweet woody type of scent, but it's sweet enough that even I may wear it. Mm. This might get some play. Might wear it to bed or something. It smells good. Next we have Citizen Jack Absolute. Why are you nearly done? And you're soaking wet. Oh, this is pretty. Citizen Jack. Th this is so pretty. This is like unisex. This is a feminine type of thing. I will wear this. This is pretty. What is it? Mm. What are you? What are you? So I'm going to shower it after I'm finished here and I'm going to put this on. This smells so pretty. Well, that's if something else in the one, two, three, four, five that I have left doesn't deter me. But this one, this one might be my fave, Citizen Jack Absolute. 
Now Citizen Jack Open Road. Again, less than half, but this one is dry. Mm. Mm. This one green. And not like patchouli green, like the opening of Angel Muse, but this is it reminds me of Dolce and Gamana light blue but less lemony. Just a little bushy, it's a little bushy. Like well bushy. This is nothing wrote about this. Open green. Jeez. Ooh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Jet black reserve. How much? The, one, two, third jet black. Mm. It's dry. Mmm. Oh. This reminds me of Oud Mmm. This is like the opening. Like that kind of incense of Oud Vanille. Oh, girl. Mmm. Mm. Touch my mouth. I like this one. Mmm. Oh, no, please. This reminds me of Oud Vanille. We like this. We like this. Now for Joie de Vie. Joie de Vie. Listen, we do not take French, okay? This is the fullest out of all. I already sprayed it on the box. Oh. This is bringing some 90s memories for me. I don't know, it just brought me back to when I was living in PT Valley. Back in the 90s. I don't know what, what I had. Probably a bathing soap or something I had. That smells like this. I can't place it yet. But it's very pretty, very, very girly, very, very youthful, very not me. And I'm not saying I'm not youthful, I just tend to go for stronger, slightly masculine scents. Which is strange because I. Which is strange because I, I used to thrive on fruity floral, but I don't know. My tastes are changing, they're evolving. So this one's a little more than half. It's wet. Mm, another one of the fresh bathing soap zest Irish spring type of scents. Smells clean like laundry. And now Visionaire Midnight Blue. Last one. This one less than half. And it's wet. Yeah. It's sweeter. So you're getting a fresh but a little... It's a little... A little more sweetness. Like I threw in a little lavender in there. I'll probably wear this to sleep. <laughs> 